sure to check out Bear's channel, Journey of Bear. In part one, we had just been caught in a thunderstorm before making it back to the Jeep. We dried off a bit and started selecting our next campsite. We had a backup site planned just in case we ran out of time. We headed back to the Foothills Trail Access Parking Area to get Bear's truck. Bear said he knew where to get a quick cup of coffee and a snack since we had hiked through lunch. Bear led off and set a good pace looking for that tall cup of coffee. Heading east on 178, we passed the entrance to Sassafras Mountain where there is a modern overlook tower. The tower sits on the North Carolina and South Carolina border. Beautiful views of North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia can be seen from the top. Back on 178 East, we enjoyed a quick ride down the mountain. We grabbed a thick cup of coffee and a snack at the corner mart, and I led off to the next campsite. We headed south on Highway 11 from the intersection of 178. Be on the lookout for wildlife crossing the road. With a 45 minute drive, we made our way over to the Duke Energy Bad Creek Hydro Plant entrance. There are hours for going in, but you can always get out. We turned off Highway 130 onto Bad Creek Road and headed to the Foothills Trail Access Parking. Check your speed early as the grade is really steep. There was plenty of parking at the trailhead. We're here with Mike's Wild World and we're going to make our way to the Bad Creek Camp. It's a hot one. I'm the chic of camping. Oh, that's pretty. That's what I'm talking about. That one right there. There's a trout stream. Making our way, we're on the Foothills Trail, going to one of the uh, earlier campsites because it's late in the day. We need to get in place. And hopefully we'll avoid the thunderstorms. We're going up a mountain and our legs are spent. And it's, it's a lot more than anticipated. There's Bear leading the way. How's it going, Bear? Uh, I'm dying. It's his fault. It's his fault. He planned this campsite. Not something like that, yeah. <laughs> now we got a turn on the trail up here. Okay. At uh, Double Blaze. Yeah. No way. Camp area. Camp area goes further down on the uh, foothills. Yeah. So which way do you want to go? <laughs> Camp. <laughs> Camping area. These are really nice signs the Boy Scouts have done. Yeah. And Round Mountain Camp is 5.9 the other way. I bet that gentleman that passed us will hit for Cooley Creek if he thinks he can make it in two hours. Yeah. Yep. This is the one I want. I see a place in the woods. Okay, so when we got here we found this PVC kind of messed up and blocked. So we dug out the canal a little bit, put a rock on top to hold it in place and let the water clear. This will be our water source for the evening right here. And let's see exactly where it comes from. This looks like a holy mess actually, but uh, it's just biodegradables. Unless somebody took a dump in there, we're okay. 
or unless we see dead animals. All right, so where does it come from? Okay, so here's a here's a drain. That's a spring. Comes from somewhere in there. Pretty clean. And here's a cistern. Uh, it's supposed to be able to dump with. Let's see how you know did dump you know not dump but dip. Sorry, <laughs> it's the wrong word. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, there's a dead crawfish. Uh, I don't think I want water with a dead crawfish in it. I'll take that running water any day. Cover it back up. Yeah, I'll take that running water as opposed to the dead crawfish. So the problem here at this campsite is that there's a real lack of trees. Bear's been walking and pacing to see uh, where he could fit a hammock in. I think we've come up with some kind of solution. Nine fifty PM Bear cooks the spam steaks. Heck yeah, spam and peppers, dude. <laughs> gonna help me sleep. You won't need any help sleeping tonight. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Not enough water for bear. I'm gonna have to heat him up some more. Water, water, water. Here's the alcohol stove that you saw in the cooking with yesterday. And it's basically empty. There's a dribble in there. And as fate would have it, I can't find the refill for it. It must be at home on the table. So uh, we're gonna cook with this little fella this morning, so you know, with Hot Spot Rocket here. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Hot Spot Pocket Rocket. This morning, uh, I've got some, you know, you're starting to eat the leftovers by this time. Uh, and I've got a, another wrap left, and I think we're gonna go for a Scrambled egg and bacon roll up. And if I have anything else left, we'll eat that too, probably. So. I wasn't supposed to use that bacon in dinner last night. <laughs> sure. <laughs> What's mine is yours. Yeah. 
That's right, I hung some around your tent last night. <laughs> if you thought that was the wind blowing in the trees, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> I've camped through some wind, but that was just weird wind. That was weird. It was the way it came in. It was like waves on the ocean. But down in this hole, it was like it was all above us on the ridge line up high. Yeah. Except for that one time, it whipped through camp real hard. Yeah, the wind was kind of crazy. And then I got I got chilled, and like I said, I uh, had to get up and put the, the bottoms on and, and put my shirt on. And I was trying not to be too loud about it. Obviously, I put woke you up, probably. No, I think that gust of wind smacking the side of my hand. <laughs> my hammock. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Oh, hey. Okay. All right, so that egg went well. You want some bacon this morning, Bear? <laughs> I've got, I've got extra. <laughs> if you got extra to fry up, I'll, extra. I'll, I'll, I'll eat a slice or two of bacon. <laughs> there you go. I wouldn't want you to have to carry it out of camp. Yeah, it would just be a shame, a waste of bacon. I mean, that's a lot of extra weight for you. It is. It is. <laughs> I'm going to have to have you carry my pack. I don't think I can eat your pack. <laughs> I see. I see. Now, now, now you're going back on me. Wrong direction. So, a quick hot spot pocket rocket. Bacon egg scramble thing. Your bacon's right here, Bear. He, he cooks this morning while I'm making instant. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> I might be letting Mike down. <laughs> Not at all. I gotta tell you though, that scrambled egg and bacon just hits the spot right there. Hey, while I finish breaking camp here this morning, I wanted to thank you for staying with us in part two of the Journey of Bear and Mike's Wild World meetup. This is the first time I've ever met this guy. It's been an absolute joy and a, and a pleasure to get to know him. Uh, I think he's like just quality information for you. If there's anything he recommends to you, I know it's a workable situation because he's tried it out and he's tested it. So uh, stay with us for the rest of the show. We're going to be hiking out this morning to a a very scenic uh, section of this particular, particular trail. And um, I think you're gonna really like it. So hang on to it. We got some good scenic stuff coming up. And so we made a little bit of improvement to our water source here. It looks like heck down through here. It's just running over leaves and stuff. But none of this is really harmful to you. So after running it through the filter, it, it tastes, it tastes okay, you know. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but it tastes okay. And I'll take okay water to no water any day. So. <laughs> so, so I'm like looking for the earplugs and I'm coming in and oh, they're so quiet. I was like, oh my God, that's so good. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> yeah, this uh, scenic overlook is a ways down Whitewater River uh, from the falls. And we dropped our packs, as you can see, up the trail a ways because this is about a mile down through the woods. And we're going to go out, take a look from the lower Whitewater Falls. And we should be able to see all the way up the corridor. So, uh, here comes the the big finish, okay? Let's go look. Yeah, here we go. The falls here is the upper Whitewater Falls. It's a totally different experience from this overlook to see this. But you have to see what we're fixing to show you from the lower overlook. What you seeing, Bear? Wow. That is incredible. Holy cow. So 
so about two cascades, three cascades down, we have what appears to look like a cave in the wall in the falls. Now I'd love to get up in that hole and see what was going on. What is that hole? Does anybody know what that hole is? All right, Bear, what do you think? Was it worth the walk? Shoot, yeah. Everybody should come look at this. This is incredible. I want to know what's in the cave, though. Yeah, I want to know what's in the cave. I think we can repel to it. You can kayak. Kayak. <laughs> 